this model question is related with organizations which are related with the uh, climate change right so this question is regarding the climate parliament it's a, which is an organization concerning with, concerning the climate change okay now climate change or speaking about climate change from the perspective of upc right so the, it's in one of the core areas or most favorite areas of upc especially the organizations related with climate change each year you'll be having at least two questions related with uh, climate change climate change organization right in 2017 we had three questions related with climate change two of them were related with the organizations one the global alliance on climate change and the second one the clean climate air coalition right which is concerning the short lived climate pollutants anyway so all the organizations which are related with the climate change is very important for you right in 2016 also we had six questions coming from uh, the uh, climate change covering topics like a uh, paris agreement uh, international solar alliance green india mission and many other questions right and uh, so anyway the point is you have to follow the organizations related with the climate change and that will fetch you at least two questions for your prelims examination okay so this question is related with climate parliament and the next question i mean next thing why specifically climate parliament or what is the importance of climate parliament right so in that perspective climate parliament they were mentioned in the recent economic survey as well as the international solar alliance is related with the climate parliament or climate parliament they are having a partnership with the international solar alliance as you might be knowing the international solar alliance is again recently in news because it entered into force okay and the next importance is the economic survey so in economic survey chapter 5 sustainable development energy and climate change the climate parliament was mentioned right so there's a chance that upsc might set a question regarding the climate parliament okay another importance of this this organization which is climate parliament in december 2017 the climate parliament hosted a global parliamentary round table event in new delhi right so it's a current affair plus it's mentioned in economic survey and it's a strategic partner of international solar alliance which is again in news so because of all these reasons the climate parliament is important now let's see what is climate parliament as you might as you can infer from the uh, little term right climate parliament so th this is their logo and the wording right the legislators working worldwide to combat climate change so in simple words the worldwide legislators right the climate parliament is a coalition of the worldwide legislators right so the climate parliament it was it got originated or it was formed as an or it's a registered charity in uk right so it's a coalition of the legislators who are willing to take action against climate change as well as supporting the renewable energy so what these guys right what this alliance what they do is they will be supporting these legislators with the, the ample amount of technological data as well as the vulnerability of climate change and scientific data regarding the renewable energy and climate change so in effect they will be supporting the parliamentarians to take the legislations or take the rules or bring up the rules and policies related with climate parliament i mean climate change and renewable energy right so one major important statement what what is climate parliament right they are legislators working worldwide to combat climate change and supporting renewable energy right and they are supported by individuals foundations and donor agencies so you might be having statements like uh, they are under uh, they are under the unfcc or they are under the world Resource, world bank or any such thing right which is wrong the funding is generally they are supported by individuals foundations as well as donor agencies and the initiative which created the climate parliament it's an uk registered charity so remember these things right so let's go back to the question now the question is a two statement question state question and the first statement it is an international network of legislators dedicated to preventing climate change and promoting renewable energy so which is an obvious statement so you can relate it with the word climate parliament so you will understand that the first one is correct so in these kind of questions a two statement question right 
you won't be able to apply any elimination method even if you eliminate the first you know that the first one is correct right you can eliminate two options which is b two only and d neither one nor two now again you need to know the second statement whether it is correct or not then only you will be able to find the answer let's go through the second statement it is a unique initiative of g20 group of countries right so they are saying it's an initiative of g20 group of countries as we have already discussed you know now know that it's an uk registered charity right so they are not an unique unique initiative of g20 group of countries okay so the second statement is wrong your answer comes out as one only now another way to solve this question suppose you doesn't know much about the climate parliament from the name you could infer that it's a coalition of or it's a network of legislators right so obviously the one first one should be correct and the second one in many questions you will be needing to guess at these kind of statements right if you could know the first statement you could eliminate two options so it's either a or c now the probability of marking this correctly is 50 50 right so while giving a prelims examination should be taking educated guesses at these kind of questions so one way in which you can find answer the second statement right which is more tougher statement we need need to know who is supporting it whose initiative is that kind of thing right so it said like a unique initiative of g20 groups now if you are imagining the g20 groups they are not taking much actions against climate change right so g20 groups won't be coming out with a unique initiative against in support of climate change right so you can say that the i mean you can you can logically guess at this statement will be wrong right so you can eliminate second one the answer will come out as one only so there also if, when you're giving your prelims examination you'll be needing to guess at these kind of statements right these kind of questions so make sure relate with the question relate with the keywords here the keyword is the unique initiative of g20 group of countries so you have to relate such statement with the context of the question then you will get the answer so here the answer comes out as one only